Dear students, welcome back to our tutorials with a puncture assembly device. We created the components of our non standard parts on the previous lesson. We created the uh, sectional front view and top view. As we are going to have only a sectional front view of the assembled parts, so I delete, just simply click and delete the top views of the parts. Now we'll assemble these parts together. The assembly will be like this. This is my tightening piece. will be tightened with the base. But when I put my uh, shaft and pressing hand here, my pressing, pressing pr piece will be on this side. So I mirror the base. Just click once, click twice as we know. Hit enter. And I'll put my cut a mirror plane here and hit F8 for the also in order to have horizontal mirror click somewhere and I'll get rid of my source object so I'll choose yes or simply click Y I'll move my tightening piece hit one hit twice enter and I'll take it from here F8 in order to free my movement and I'll put it just hold in the same center this way I assemble two of these parts together from the D drawing I'll bring my part this part is a guide bush and this guide bush is a standard part I need a section of it so so I just can simply click somewhere here again click and it will go back with me double click here it will take me back to my shaft generator hit enter to agree for the 48 length and 50 and I'll make a section just taking any internal point he asked me if to take an internal point specify I'll specify internal point here full section and I need it by 135 or minus 45 degrees I'll hit OK and close and I'll have my sectioned guide bush I'll take a copy of it there I'll click all of it and right click or control C I go to my puncture assembly and control V I'll put it somewhere here usually when we'll uh, work to together we put, we'll put the shaft inside this one the spring and we'll screw it on my tightening piece but now we are on drawing so we can put them part by part as we wish I'll hit move I'll take my part hit enter I'll take it from here and assemble it to my tightening piece just here as we can see we have lines between these two parts so I make a height situation here okay yep. height situation this is my foreground piece enter and I'll take rid of these between lines I hit OK and here's my tightening piece again but I lose my section for some reason I don't know why it didn't have to be so I'll click it again double click enter and enter section yes I'll hit enter I click close and I'll have my section again the other part will put a shaft inside so I'll go back to here and select my shaft control C and I'll go here I'll put it somewhere control V I'll put it here oh something wrong happened did it 
I'll take my shaft again. I'll select my shaft, it didn't select it. I'll select it again from here. I'll try right click clipboard copy go here right click clipboard paste the original coordinates it's again then I'll stop my video and see what's going on with my problem and come back to you see you later